Hi everyone, I'm going to create a project using R. So uh, basically, I'm going to use uh, Mongo Express and React Native. Uh, this is an application for uh, Android and iOS cross platform and Node. So uh, I had to give the application name local subscription. So uh, this is application for any service you provide in your local area on a monthly basis. Also, uh, there should be an admin who can add a new subscriber. And at the time of creation of new subscriber, the user details save in the database. Also, I'm saving the month name and the year so that uh, I'm scheduling the job. Uh, like after 30 days, uh, there should be auto entry in database. Like we had uh, uh, next month payment status pending for uh, the specific user. Uh, admin has only authority like uh, to change the payment status. As we go uh, after 30 days, there should be an uh, entry for new month payment for a uh, specific user. Uh, full subscription status is true. Like uh, uh, we have a user and it will first check whether user exists in database or not. If exists, it will look on if its subscription status is true or not. Like uh, admin can add or remove the subscription. Suppose you are having a user who is uh, are taking your service uh, every month and for a month he want to just uh, uh, remove your services so you can just simply remove the subscription in place of remove user also I had the functionality where admin can remove the user as well and uh, for the subscription like uh, once admin remove the subscription of your uh, the specific user he can re-add the subscription uh, whenever the uh, subscriber month also at, uh, at the app end you will get two lists like first one for all user list and second one for the user whose uh, payments are pending so that an admin can easily filter out the user and he will take uh, action accordingly so let's uh, speak about the technology i'm going to use for backend uh, i'm going to use uh, mongodb cluster for database and here i'm going to use uh, for uh, MongoDB at last which provide us 500 MB free uh, database in cloud and for API I'm going to use node and express and for authentication I'm going to use JWT JSON web token since whenever I need to fetch uh, uh, take uh, request from the private API I, I need to uh, validate the user so for this I'm going to use uh, JSON web token and for password encryption I'm going to use here bcrypt uh, basically uh, I'm not going to save uh, plain text uh, of password as in plain text in the database so before save the password in database I'll encrypt it and uh, then save it inside the database so that we can uh, nobody can see the password of uh, user directly from database also for validate the body of request I'm going to use uh, express validator it is a nice package to validate uh, the request body and for front end I'm going to use react native basically react native provides us uh, a cross platform application for uh, Android and iOS you need to write your code in JS and it will handle accordingly and for state management I'm going to use context API like uh, uh, this this provide global state uh, to our application so that I can uh, use uh, those state in uh, uh, any component in which I want. Also for uh, functional programming to keep functional programming, I'm going to use hooks. So in this application, I'm not going to create any single class. I'll uh, create application using function. Also for network request, I'm going to use XOS, and uh, there you will see different type of request like. Uh, get post put delete also with xys I'll, i'm going to use interceptor as well and we'll see like uh, how can we uh, bind our token in the header so that we do not need to uh, pass the token uh, every time also for uh, designing pr perspective i'm going to use uh, native based library it is a, a very good library for design and for showing the list of data I'm going to use flat list and you will able to see how can we uh, implement functionality of pull, pull to refresh using flat list let's quickly look at the application demo 
I had uh, start the application. Let me reload it once. There you can see I got uh, this splash screen. That's uh, look pretty good. Also, after I got uh, the login screen, let me log in. So, if this C2, signal.com. And if I'm logging here, we can see on dashboard I got uh, two lists one for all user list and second for the user whose payment is pending. In all user, they can see the user who had paid uh, their payment, their uh, text name or father name is uh, in red, red text, and the user who had uh, paid whose due is zero, uh, their text color is uh, green. And if you only filter the pending uh, user whose payment is pending, you can simply uh, move here. Also, uh, let me change the status like for second user. And uh, if I receive the payment of July, and if I go back and I'm going to refresh the list, list you can simply pull it. You can see uh, the for second user only due remaining is 150. Let's uh, uh, mark uh, payment for August received as well. And if I go back and uh, refresh the list, then you can see his text uh, changed to the uh, green color. Also, you can remove the subscription so that for the upcoming month, the payment record will not automatically insert in the database. Also, uh, according to your requirements, you can re add the subscription as well. One more thing, uh, like if we have due zero, and uh, there you can see we had history of payment, like for July we receive, and for August for uh, we had receive. And if you do not want to make your database heavy, you can simply uh, delete the record as well, as uh, I do not need this record further. Or if you want to track your history, you can just keep them as well. And uh, next thing, you can delete the user as well. Uh, there you can see if I am going to delete has been deleted successfully and also our list has been updated Also, uh, I can add the new subscriber. Uh, I had deleted the second user Let me give the first name as second and last name should be user and for father name. I'm going to give uh, F uh, name to let's add and uh, there you can see uh, our second user has been added also uh, by default uh, as uh, for this month uh, its uh, payment status should be false and it due should be of 150 there you can see for august payment status is pending still and if i received this and go back let me refresh the list once there you can see uh, the due has been clear now so let's uh, start implementing this application from uh, next video. I'll start work with the database, then our API, then I'll implement uh, both things uh, in our application.